Hello everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on Laravel 5.3 and in this tutorial we'll continue with routes. Remember that in the last tutorial we treated a way to move your files into a new folder and to link them properly um, using a, a dot or a slash. Now in this tutorial we'll be looking at something very important which is um, how to pass variables into your your view from your controller or from your route. First of all, we'll see how we can do it from our route, and uh, then we'll see how we can do it from our controller. All right, what I'm doing here is to create uh, a route for our contact. So when someone visits contact, it will go to view, route view, then open pages folder and pull up the contacts uh, file. As you can see, our contact file is still empty. So if you go to our web page, and I uh, will say slash contact and hit enter. Um, of course, on web PHP line 22, we have a syntax error, so we'll get back and fix our syntax error on line 22. Uh, we're supposed to put um, a semicolon here, and then that's been solved. We'll go back to our web page and hit on the refresh, and um, there we are, blank page because. Truly, in our route, in our resources, our views, and uh, in our contacts, there is nothing there. All right, we've just written something in the contacts.blade.php and we'll refresh. And there we have it. Uh, if we refresh, there we have it. There is nothing there. Okay, so this sorts. Sort of settles the problem for us. But what we what if we have something interesting to some variable array to pass in? So I'll just paste this array. So assuming we have a product, uh, some list of an array of products to pass in to our, our page. Um, one way we can do that is first of all, before we pass into our page, I want to show you that we can spit it out directly. What we have here is um, I remove this and we have products, and um, we can just say return products. So this will just put things out there on the page the way it is. So we come here to our page and uh, we refresh. And what we have is, yeah, it spits out the entire array. Um, if you wanted to format this, you could just simply do an echo, echo a PR E tag, and then uh, we print our print r so this is a cool way to make it a human um, readable by prettifying it so we refresh and uh, when we reload what we have is a very well formatted array and um, that kind of solves a problem but we still have some things to work out on it this seems to work but really it's not effective it, um, but before then what we can do is to come here and um, use a return we return a pages view if we wanted to pass this array to the view so they can be accessible what we can do is to um, come here and say compact if you're coming from cake php you will be very familiar with what i'm trying to do now compact products so we just say compact products just name it the exact name of these arrays automatically this array has been passed to this view so which means if we get to this view the pages contact the blade we can start using the the array so what we can do here is to use add blade syntax to do a forage forage um products sorry i'm used to javascript that's why i always forget this as product product and um, right here we can end for rich so we've ended for each. So here we can start doing our um, interesting stuff like um, a list. We we'll do a very nice list, and uh, we say that um, here we can now um, use this syntax to print out a product name. Remember, right here we have a. Uh, 
we have a product then for each of these print out a product name so let's go and see if what we did is correct so we'll come back and refresh uh, reload and of course there is an error somewhere so we can go and uh, fix it in our code and uh, right back here uh, this is so wrong this is what we should have done right here um, we call this like this as if the product name and um, we come here and uh, refresh when we refresh we see something very interesting that it has listed um, these products as you can see so um, you might be wondering what did we just do here this is blade syntax nothing actually stops us from doing a, a, a PHP right here PHP syntax but this is blitz templating syntax that comes with Laravel so over time you get to know how to do different things with blade syntax all right so I hope this shows you how to pass a variable from your your um, route to your your view so but this is not effective because as long we have an array of 10,000 um, products we're not going to dump all of them inside this view file. It doesn't make sense. We're supposed to have them on our database. Then our controller file, as you can see here, will communicate from our controller file in get contact here to pull it from the database and then pass it to the view. So all we have to do in this routes folder is to keep it lean. Our routes file should be very lean. So we, we just tell our routes file that once a contact somebody visits this, it should just redirect as we have done here to our, our controller page here and then inside our controller page we perform the uh, magic we wanted to do so what we'll do is to copy these two guys here we'll cut, cut these two guys here go to our controller page our pages controller here and then inside our get contact we'll paste it so once we have that what we can do next is to come here and clean up what is here so we'll make sure that um, we just copy what is here. I'm lazy. I don't like typing too much. So we'll come here and um, paste. So when we paste, we'll quickly edit because we've done it before. When, when you get to get, just get to contact. Get contact. All right, so when someone visits this, it should redirect to this. And then right inside here, we have done this. So this should work just as well. So if we get back to our page and uh, we refresh, what we have is the exact same thing. So it works perfectly. And but this time we've done a more reasonable thing by passing it through our controller. So in the next further tutorials, we'll see how we can actually have those products in our database and then we we'll pass it down to our view. All right. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video to, with your friends and see you in the next tutorial.